Hey everybody, this is a real quick video. I've gotten, um, I've done a couple videos on this, but I've gotten so many um, emails lately on YouTube asking me to do it again and explain it again. Um, I know I have a lot of videos on YouTube, so it's probably hard to go back and sit and go through all, you know, have the time to go back and go through all the videos. So this is for how I do my own alcohol ink. Now, I do have alcohol ink. I've bought it. I use it, love it. However, um, it gets expensive. Sometimes I don't have the colors that I want and I like to, um, play, you, you know, I like to do my own thing. So very quickly, I'm going to show you what you need. You need to go to your Walmart drugstore, whatever, and get alcohol. This is 91%, but you can use 70%. It doesn't matter. This is a piece of like, um, sketch paper. It's real thin. It's all, it's actually the cons the consistency but it's actually um like printer paper so that's what you can use you can also use whatever kind of paper you have if you happen to have glossy paper that works even better if you don't don't despair i'm going to show you what to do um but I've, I've used printer paper and made backgrounds because you're using acrylic paint it is a permanent thing um i've used so i've done that and i've um you know, use my mixed media, uh, papers, you know, you get the tablets and all kinds of stuff. So, you know, it, it just use your mind on whatever you have a scrap paper. This is a, a scrap paper I have, uh, I used in one of my last videos and, um, I actually put, uh, collage podge. I'm going to explain that in a second on it so I can go over and I want some to show through. And then when I paint over others, not to now, this side, as you can see, is glossy. And this is just a regular piece of paper, nothing, not treated. Um, I did, however, throw a coat of gesso down. If you don't have gesso, throw a color of white paint down or uh, off-white or, you know, something that you have. Um, if you have a light pink and you want to go for a pink uh, alcohol, like pink, red, purple alcohol ink look, do a light pink, whatever. Um, so I did my white gesso on my paper. As you can see, this side is glossy. And what I did was, and I suggest to use a coupon at Michael's AC Moore Joanne's, wherever you go, Hobby Lobby. This is collage podge and it's glossy. Mod Podge also has glossy. I usually buy matte, like the regular, but it doesn't matter. You can use white school glue if you want, um, especially if you're playing around. Um, you know, there's not anything wrong with that. Um, they also have clear gesso. Now, why I did, why I want to show you this with this being glossy and it's just about dry now and this being unglossy, but it's all gessoed is to show you the difference. Um, what I do is I take a little cup. This is a lid. I keep lids to everything. I'm wacko. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take just regular craft paint. This is folk art purple. Okay, now I'm just gonna take a little bit, use whatever color you want, and I'm just gonna do a little, cause I'm just gonna do a real quick demo for you. Just do like a little ploop in there. And then I'm gonna add, I gotta fill up my water bottles, but then I'm gonna add water. And I'm just gonna like pour it, cause you want it to be, now you can use watercolor paints too. I don't know if I have anything of like any available right now to show you, but we'll see. Let's just get this going. I want this to be really watery. So you can see it's watery. So you can do this in different ways. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and I'll just splash. This is my glossy side and I'm going to do half of it here. And then I'm just going to do a little bit, might be a little bit too wet right in a second, but, and then I'm going to do over there. You want to have the water. I'm going to set that there. I'm going to take my dropper. I save droppers from everything. I'm going to take my alcohol, take my lid off. I know I'm talking fast cause I don't want to, but see that that's on the just gessoed side. And this is the Mod Podge side. Now, Let's see. You can leave it run a little bit. I made it a little bit wetter than I should because I wanted you guys to really see. But I'm just going to let it run so I can show you. I'm 
know if I have any watercolor to look. And then you just go drop more color in. And what activates it is when the water in the paint, the alcohol, it hits that, it makes it go crazy. So all this is is acrylic paint. So imagine um, mixing different colors. So I have purple. Now, watercolor. If I had watercolor paint around, <laughs> I would be in good shape. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Um, oh, come on, Cal. Oil, oil, oil. How do I have so many oil paints? Oh, well, you might do watercolor. Bear with me. I know I always get, okay. I start something and I get so excited and then, you know. Okay, so I have this watercolor. These are pro art. You can get these at AC Moore and I'll show you the box in a second for, um, I'll pick a green color since it's darker. Um, come on, for $5. And it's a set of 18 paints, watercolors, and they're pro art. So $5 watercolor paint. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pour out the rest of that purple out of there. Rinse out my brush real quick. Since I'm doing green, the colors might mix a little, but you'll still get the idea. Just trying to get that out. Okay. Very quickly, I'm going to take, this is called green light, and I'm losing the cap. Got to open it. And this is just a little bit. Now, if you have, um, I'm assuming a little bit green in there. If you have um, Crayola, which I have, and I wanted to try, but show you on camera, but I can't find it right now. I have like four of them. You know, the Crayola Kids ones? I love those watercolors. There's not a thing wrong with them. But I don't know. I don't know where they're at, but I'm going to just spray some water in here because we want to dilute this and we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to mix this bad boy up and because it's watercolor, I might have put too much water in, but you see it's green. So I'm going to take my brush and I'm just going to kind of go like this. This is the untreated side. We'll move this out of the way. And then down here is the treated with the glossy. Um, Claude Pod, Claude Podge, which again could be Mod Podge, could be whatever your little heart desires. And I use every bit of that. All right, now let's see what happens. I got my little dropper. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're making our own alcohol inks, baby. Now, of course, you can mix these up. This is just easy. I, I like doing this because then I can use the colors that I want. You can obviously mix them up in, um, like if you go to your drugstore or dollar store and buy water bottles, um, mix up your own if you want or little, I keep like all my little, um, droppers and stuff like that. Um, so I always have those, but look how fun and it dries fast because of the alcohol. So imagine if we did something really fun, except it's going to take me longer and I don't want you guys to have to be stuck with me. Um, let's do, all right, the green. I, so I always go the same colors. How funny. All right, this is a red. Let me try it. Okay, this is red. Let's just, we'll just throw that in there. Yay, red. Okay, and let's squirt it with water. So it kind of bleeds everywhere. Let's see what we get out of this. Now that's a lot of water and a lot of paint. So I'm going to leave it run a little bit. And I bet you that's going to be a little bit too wet. I mean, a little bit too um, much paint. So let me just squirt. I should have mixed it. I'm being lazy. Let's see what happens when you're lazy. Let's see what happens with this. Just so you can see the difference in being lazy. I mean, look, look how fun. And you have a really great background. Now imagine going and getting, I buy the um, Dixie cups. 
I can't find them right now. But you know how you can go like to the dollar store and buy Dixie cups and that kind of stuff? And I love going and buying them. And what I'll do is I'll mix up. I'll just take a little bit of paint and mix it with water, like my acrylic. And I'll have like a basic of colors. And then I'll just, you know, they're all watered down. And I'll take my brush and I'll just go over all different crazy colors. Maybe I'll do a video of that this week. And then I go and start dripping my alcohol ink. And you get this awesome abstract looking thing. But let me come in close closer if my camera would get on point the camera doesn't want to be on point but you get to see that deliciousness of where the alcohol ink has hit and this is just a real quick you know demo of what you can do I just want to show different colors you know and if you want to like because the alcohol does dry pretty fast. You can lay like your paper towel or this is an old towel I ripped up. I have more than enough. And if you want to get like the bulk, you know, if you just like the ghost shadows of it, so to say. Or you hate it all together. But this is a great layer. I mean, this is a great layer for whatever you want. Um, let's try one last thing because now I'm like... I don't know what this will be like. This is the dilution. And that's half on the um, Clodge Podge Glossy. And that's on the regular. And I put my alcohol away. Let's just see for the sake of seeing what it does. A little bit of alcohol. Oh, I actually like to look better on the um, non just outside. Interesting, isn't it? Look how cool. I know it's a bit of a glare in here. It's a bit of a glare. But look. Look how cool. So sit, get your little, save your little cups, go to the dollar store and buy like little Dixie cups or plastic cups or whatever and sit and take your favorite colors of your Acrylic paints, folk art's my favorite. Uh, there's ceramic coat. There's there, there's all kinds of brands. Martha Stewart has some great uh, paints now. And um, mix them up just a little drop with some water and get it to the colors that you want. And just go to town and have and have like a little. Um, you can go to your uh, pharmacy. This is from something I don't know. But you can go to your pharmacy and ask them for a um, dropper. Do you know what I mean? And they'll give you like a baby dropper thing. Um, or you can go to the, I've done this, I've gone to the dollar store and bought baby, like, um, Tylenol or whatever brands they have there. And, you know, like they have like the droppers in them and I buy them for a dollar. And then of course I throw the medicine away and then I clean out the dropper and I got dropper. So, I mean, I got tips. I, I can give you tips, tips, tips. So I hope this was helpful. I hope this helps the, everybody who wrote me for the, um, uh, how you say the, uh, uh the, demo on how to do your own alcohol ink like look like i said you can mix them up in your own you know water down your paint and everything in your own spray bottle um and then just take your dripper from there so you have the colors already mixed or do like i do um whatever floats your boat and then we can dry it and it's just really cool and one thing i do like and um i'm a texture kind of girl if you see let me just do this real quick. If you see right here, and because it's a thinner paper, it's a little bit. You see right here? That's the brush strokes of the gesso underneath. But how cool does that look? And then you can see up here the glossy. So you don't have to have glossy paper for alcohol ink to work. Um, or you don't have to do it on metal. You can do it whatever way you want. Think about your stencils. Think about so many things. And just with some acrylic paint, water, and some alcohol, like 90, what is it, 90 cents at the Walmart or whatever it is. And you have, you can make great, great things. So thank you very much. I love you guys. Thank you so much for all the fantastic emails and messages you guys send me in comments. And um, oh my gosh, you guys just make my day. I can see her all day and make use videos. Um, I'm going to be having a giveaway soon. I just got to get my stuff together here. Um, I'm fostering. <clears throat> I'm fostering two kittens right now. Um, we're, I'm a, we're big fosterers here, um, and 
the one kitten's upstairs in my sewing and clay room, and now I'm down here in my, my painting mixed media room where I have the kitten we brought the other day. And unfortunately, um, he, uh, she actually is delicious, but she's um, got like eye, like it looks like she's starting to get an upper respiratory. She's teeny. And uh, so I got to kind of keep them separate. So um, I've been kind of busy with that and, and all over the place. But um, you guys have been awesome and you like lift my spirits every single day. I'm so blessed. Thank you so much. Check out my knitting and things.com. Um, I just did a post where I had to ask, answer some questions. So, uh, let me know what you think about that. And as always email me on YouTube, um, uh, on Facebook, wherever, you know, and let me know even in the comments, something else that you want to see. And I'll be glad to do it for you guys. So I hope you have a great Sunday and Dexter's on tonight. I cannot wait. So I'll talk to you later. Be kind to everyone, please, because we never know what battle anyone's fighting. Bye, guys.